Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is John Collin from the Flight Deck. I'll be your captain this evening. Thanks for watching this video. This video is going to be a quick tutorial on the cockpit of the 7-3. So let's get right into this. First thing you need to know about, we're going to be going from the bottom to the top of the 7-3 and showing you some things about the 7-3. And it's going to be really, really cool. So let's do this. The first thing is down here. This includes your frequencies, your frequencies and your squawk, and then your some kind of navigation thing that you probably won't use in most situations. So you can access this by using Shift 2. There's included in this is Communications 1, Communications 2, Navigation 1, Navigation 2. Very straightforward. The, com the, the comms are basically how you talk with ATC and you're going to be using COM 1 most of the time. There's always a standby frequency and then there's an active frequency. You switch these by pressing this button. And then also that includes the navigation one. Usually you use this for ILS landings. And this is your standby. You plug it in the standby. Do not plug it in the active because that gets all funky. Because, yeah, you can't anyways to prevent that. All right. So the standby frequency, you can, you know, change this however you like. You can also use the knob if you'd like. But also down here is your squat code. I believe Captain Joe did a video on squat codes so that he explained what they are so I'll go ahead and leave a link to that there will be a lot of links about certain things and how the aircraft you know what it is about the aircraft that does that I'll have a lot of links in the description of this video so that you can look at that All right, let's move on to the engine controls so obviously this is pretty straightforward you can also access this by right clicking on screen going to cockpit and then engine controls so here we are Basically, this, these are your two throttles for your two engines. It can be activated by the four, the first four F buttons, so F1, F2, F3, F4. F1 is idle throttle, F2 is decreased throttle, F3 is increase, and F4 is all the way. All the way throttle, full throttle, whatever you call it. Over here is flaps that can also be controlled. And although, by the way, you can record this, you know, you can do this all manually or you can do it through uh, your hardware or you can, you know, just pull it on screen. So these are controlled by F5, F6, F7, and F8. So F5 will put it at 0%. F6 is decrement of flaps. F7 is increment of flaps. And F8 is full flaps. Over here we have the speed brake or the spoilers as some people call it. So you can obviously pull this manually or you can uh, you can pull it all the way down with your hand. Over here is elevator trim. This will be very important if you need to make a sharp descent for some reason. It's always very helpful, but usually the autopilot will use this. So moving on, let me go back to our virtual cockpit here. We're gonna look at the main flight displays. This is your PFD or your primary flight display. This is your multi-purpose uh, display which will show GPS stuff. The primary flight display over here will show your current speed, your current altitude, and this is all you can see down here. That's your altimeter setting which is set right on this knob over here. These purple, you know, these purple numbers, they're what is plugged into the autopilot which is what we're going to be looking at next. So over here, there's two of the same panel. These are just your engine instrument displays. So your fuel is listed here. In case you're running out of fuel, you probably want to know that. So you can declare an emergency if you did not bring enough fuel, which that's probably a bad thing on your part. Over here is just your, uh, your engine usage. And of course, of uh, the same two displays for the, the co-pilot over here. And then of course, you got the landing gear lever. So when you pull this up during flight, It'll retract the landing gear, and when you pull it down, you know, it'll, you know, instead of retract, it'll go down again. All right, so your autopilot section, little panel up here, course is set with navigation. So right now we have it set to GPS mode, meaning that it will follow the GPS, which is shift three. We'll pull up this little window. You can always adjust these little windows, or you can undock them and put them in different, you know, actual windows. Over here, the course is set by the navigation mode, so that'll follow 
navigation pretty well if you put on the VOR location or the nav hold switch. Over here we have the speed, so you put, you put up the auto throttle, you set your speed that you want to cruise at, you can press your speed button when you're ready for that. Heading is pretty straightforward, you just plug in a heading and it'll, the aircraft will turn towards that heading. Also a little thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can actually can you actually control your bank limit from the heading knob. It's on the very edge of the heading knob that you control that. Over here is the altitude. You obviously set that, press altitude hold, and then of course when you've set all of your autopilot, you just hit the autopilot master switch and everything will be fine. This is set just how fast your aircraft is ascending or descending. All right, up here, the lights. This is your landing lights. You want to set these when you're about to go onto the runway on the active. Here's taxi. You put these on right before you, you know, are going to start taxiing. APU switch, you also want to put that on when you start the aircraft. Engine start, you just use that when you want to start the engine. It's pretty straightforward. Over here are the other lights. The logo light switch goes on during night. Strobe goes on when you're about to turn on the active or whatever runway you're taking off at. The rotating beacon light switch is also put on before taxi. And then of course these are inside uh, the no smoking sign and fasten seat belts. And that pretty much wraps it up. I'd like to thank you for joining me in this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you on board soon. Safe flying.